Ah, DevBot, I love you so much more as a voice without a body. Let's talk about Mech Warrior 5 mercenaries and joining us to do so from Piranha Games is the Senior Marketing and Community Manager, Darren Katz. Thanks so much for joining us, Darren. Thank you, Sean. Great to be here. Now, the Mech Warrior universe is gigantic. There's a ton of games in it. I even played Mech Warrior 2 back in 1995. Where does Mech Warrior 5 sit in the space? Yeah, obviously there's a very rich legacy of games that go way back. But in particular, Mech Warrior 5 pays homage to Mech Warrior 2 mercenaries. But it has all this modern design and technology that I'm super excited to talk about with you today. Well, let's start at the real basics of what makes being in a mech and doing mech on mech combat awesome. You become a part of your machine. And when you're out in battle, it's not just a matter of pointing and shooting at everything. You're also managing your systems, whether you're you know, shooting a lot of energy weapons or missile weapons that have high heat output. Well, you gotta manage your heat so that you don't shut down in the middle of a battle. And when you're facing your foes, you can salvage these battle mechs. So if you see a mech that you want, well, you might wanna not wanna destroy it completely. You might wanna take out its oh, legs right. or take out its arm weapons so that the pilot has to eject and then you can just take the mech. Now in the last few weeks, I understand that there's been a whole lot of new content, both updates to the base game and a new DLC, Heroes of the Inner Sphere. Talk to me about what's in the DLC. Boy, there's a lot in the DLC. I'm excited about all this stuff. There's the new career mode. When you start with the DLC, you can import your campaign previously if you'd like to, or you can start over from scratch and start from any of the great houses. Um, and then carve your, your path through the galaxy from there. There's, speaking of paths, there's new career paths, which uh, earn you powerful upgrades for your battle mechs. And it's a really exciting new feature for me. And there's a new procedural mission type called Beachhead. This is, this is a big one for me. Um, Beachhead is basically you're clearing a, an enemy base landing zone for your invasion force. So as you land on the planet, you're wanting to take out satellite uh, installations so that the enemy can't communicate with each other. Um, you're taking out uh, artillery emplacements. You're basically clearing the path, as I said, for your invasion force, which uh, leads to a really cool ending of the mission if you succeed as your invasion force comes down. And there's a new biome called Extrasolar Moon, which, uh, you know, that's maybe a, kind of represented in the image behind me. It's a, it's a really cool lunar type setting that we haven't had before. And then there's a lot of new equipment and weapons, things like uh, electronic countermeasures and other electronic equipment like uh, Beagle Active Probe, Mask, which is a little uh, like a turbo boost for mechs, new weapons like chem lasers, mech rifles, and stream SRMs, so a lot of new content. I'm really excited about it. Can you talk to me about what are the new different mechs? How do they play differently? Um, the, the seven new chassis are the Vulcan, Dervish, Corsair, Marauder 2, Champion, Charger, and Hatamoto Chi. But a couple of my favorites. Familiar yeah. names in there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the first one I'll talk about is the Vulcan. It's a very unique mech. It's got a, a, the nickname, the Scarecrow, which you'll see from the profile. It's just a, a very unique looking mech. There's nothing else like it in the franchise. Mm -hmm. It's a 40-ton mech, it's highly mobile, and typically it's used for reconnaissance or scout missions because of its mobility, so it can get in and out fast. You can, if you're looking for a specific target, if you're on an assassination mission, for example, you can get in there, find your target, get back out. Another mech that I'm super excited about, this is one of my favorites, is the Marauder 2. This thing is a 100-ton assault mech, and it is just a huge beast. <laughs> yeah, it is gigantic, and it is terrifying to see it coming at you on the battlefield. It's something we've talked about before, modding. I know that MechWarrior 5 has a rich modding community. What are some of the amazing mods you've seen uh, develop? There's simple modifications from uh, HUD changes, changing colors, adding mechs, weapons, and equipment to full conversion yeah. mods. We've got basically oh. a, a Mech Commander mod uh, in development that is just amazing. Oh, yeah. It's a top-down, real-time strategy game. Um, so really, anything you can imagine, somebody out there in the community is probably working on. Where can people go to get Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries? Yeah, you can pick it up on Steam, GOG, Epic Game Store, Microsoft PC, and of course, Xbox. Thank you so much, Darren Katz, for joining us to talk about Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. And of course, a warm thank you to Mech Warrior 5 for sponsoring the PC Gaming Show and giving me this cool patch. Coming up next, let's take a look at Silt.